Hey Galaxy fans, ever wanted to get every ounce of power from your Samsung smartphone? Well, a hidden feature in the upcoming One UI 7.0 update might let you do just that. Today, we're diving into a tip that suggests One UI 7.0 will offer a unique option to disable thermal throttling, a game changer for performance enthusiasts. So what exactly does this mean and why should you care? Let's unpack it. For those who may not be familiar, thermal throttling is a safety mechanism designed to keep your device from overheating. When your phone heats up, the system reduces the performance of its CPU and GPU to cool things down, ensuring that everything stays within safe limits. This protects the hardware and prevents uncomfortable heat while you're gaming, streaming, or even just scrolling. Now, One UI 7.0, Samsung's latest update based on Android 15, reportedly has a hidden setting that could allow users to bypass this throttling, at least temporarily. A tipster on X, formerly known as Twitter, shared this information, and if it turns out to be true, it could open up some impressive performance gains for Galaxy users. The option to disable thermal throttling isn't actually a new concept on Android. If you dig into the developer options, you'll find all sorts of advanced settings not intended for regular users, and this throttling control may become one of those hidden features in One UI 7.0. Previously, Samsung experimented with a similar feature in One UI 6, but it was eventually removed, likely for safety reasons. With One UI 7.0, Samsung may be reconsidering the feature, though only for those who are comfortable navigating the developer options. This could give power users the chance to push their devices to the absolute limit, extracting maximum gaming or productivity performance without system-imposed limits. Interestingly, Samsung has previously provided a partial solution in its Game Launcher or Game Booster apps. If you're familiar with these, you may know that within the lab section, there's an option to raise the device's temperature threshold. This setting allows the CPU and GPU to run at higher temperatures before throttling kicks in. However, even this setting doesn't completely disable throttling. It just makes the limits less restrictive. For hardcore gamers, these limits are frustration. After all, no one wants their frame rates dropping during an intense battle scene, but allowing unrestricted performance can come with risks which is why Samsung has historically kept this feature somewhat limited. For those excited about the Galaxy S25 series, which will feature Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, there's likely a catch. This new Snapdragon 8 Elite is packed with powerful CPU and GPU capabilities, but letting it run at max performance without any throttling could be risky. Even with Samsung's advanced vapor cooling systems, allowing the chipset to run without restrictions could lead to extreme temperatures, potentially impacting the phone's longevity and safety. Point zero, Samsung will likely leave it hidden in the developer options. And even if it's available in the beta version, we'd advise against experimenting with it unless you truly understand the potential consequences. So, Galaxy fans, what do you think? Would you experiment with disabling thermal throttling to boost performance, or is the risk just too high? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more insider info on the latest from Samsung and Android. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned, stay safe, and keep pushing the limits. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance but which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3mm x 79mm. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display. Now, onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1 Hz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch A and OLED display that also supports 120 Hz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.